Good morning, good morning, good morning, magical mamas. So today's uh, Facebook Live is all about stop shooting on yourself. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, as moms, this I think is one of the most prevalent things. I mean, we are not only uh, taking care of ourselves, but we're taking care of human beings and managing their lives, their stuff, often our husbands' lives and their stuff. I mean, we have got a lot on our plate, and there's a lot of shoulds. Should I be doing more cleaning? Should I be doing this? And then it comes, which this topic came up because of all the amazing um, supportive answers that I'm hearing um, from a post um, that Classic Sweetness just posted about circumcision. And the insights of women just saying, this is my, you know, this is what I believe and this is what I'm doing. Um, I love that it's such an open discussion full of support and non-judgment. So when we become moms, there are so many shoulds that we are told that we have to do. I should be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, I talk to moms all the time when I'm mentoring them and doing my one-on-ones with them and they're going, well, I should be doing more of this or whatever when it comes to actually living their dream life. So when I ask them, what do you want to be doing? What is it that you're inspired to do? A lot of the times, if they don't know, but most of the time you do know, you know exactly what you want to be doing, and yet all the shoulds that are keeping you in the stuckness, in the overwhelm, all the shoulds are making it so that you can't live the life of freedom that you actually really desire. So, how do we get out of this should? Um, how do we stop shoulding on ourselves? <laughs> So I love that Michael Beckwith always says that um, he's a uh, minister at the Agape Church and um, he's or he's a reverend at the Agape Church and he always says that stop shooting on yourselves and I love that because it's just a practical funny way for us to kind of think about how to think and do things a little differently. One great way to stop shooting on yourself is to um, talk to your heart. I know it seems kind of silly, I, I talk to trees, I talk to my body, I talk to all sorts of things. That, um, but if I'm able to listen to them, um, sounds like children are screaming, you guys okay? Yes? Okay, sorry. Um, when we speak to our heart about what we really desire, that's when we can stop shooting. Because our desire and our passion and our inspiration is going to be stronger than the shoulds that are in our mind. So if you feel like you should be doing more housework or you should be keeping the house clean and yet what you really want to be doing is making crafts and playing with your kids or going and walking in nature more or doing any of the things that I say all the time about being and, and creating and doing all of these things, then soon enough, the, the drive to be and the drive to live is going to be stronger than the shoulds. And as you focus on what you really truly want and get more into this inspiration, you're going to find that it's easier to give up that those feelings of um, always having to do what you think that you should be doing. So um, this uh, Wednesday, we actually are going to be doing um, the a, a live Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood gathering. Um, and it's Wednesday night. And um, so if you want to be a part of that, we're going to actually be doing some really awesome exercises about how to start listening to our hearts better, um, about how to open our hearts and really get rid of the guilt feelings that keep us in that should aspect. We're going to do some really amazing 
uh, visualization and meditation exercises to really release and then we're going to create a ritual around releasing the um, the guilt and the the kind of stuckness in our hearts that um, keep us living a should life which who wants to lead a should life I don't I don't you should see my house uh, I don't leave a should life I clean when I need to clean because it's part of my my rhythm um, but I do not get stuck in what I should be doing because when I do, I realize I'm a not very nice person. When I only do what I have to do, it's not fun. I mean, yes, so maybe you're saying, well, my husband has to go to work and he has to do what he doesn't want to do. He's a grown man. He could change his mind. That's his choice. He's choosing to do what he does. So don't get stuck in living a should life because you look around you and go, well, everybody else in my life is doing what they should do, so I need to as well. It's the same thing with um, the circumcision topic that just came up. Everybody else is doing it, so I should do it too. And it's the same thing with, um, with everything that we do. You know, um, I see so many moms who, who yell and get really, and lead really overwhelming lives as a mother. And they're doing this and they see everyone else around them leading these really overwhelming lives. And they go, well, I'm a mom. This is what my life should look like. Everybody else is overwhelmed. If I'm not overwhelmed, I'm not doing my mothering job right. Or whatever it is. I don't think there's that much thought in it. It's just our society um, is so good at kind of training us to be these should people. Leading lives that really don't feel magical and don't feel freeing and... I want to just give you just a different perspective where possibly you can say, oh, I never even thought that this, this could, there's a fly in my hair, I never even thought that this could be an option um, of not just doing what I feel like I had to do. So I'm not sure if the live video is really uh, wiggly or wonky, um, which is hard for people to join on live. but. Uh, over, I'm going to start doing 8 a.m. Monday through Friday, hopping on here, and I would love if anybody has anything that they want me um, to direct, or if you have anything specific that you want me to go over, um, please just throw it into the Facebook group, and, um, but I think it's really important that we continue these kind of daily uh, chit-chats so that we can start the day off thinking a different way and it, it everything that I'm saying is things that I am um, it helps me remember too to not get stuck in a life that just is because it's life I think that the life can be so much more than what we actually think it can be and I know this is true because um, I personally have certain people that I look up to who are who are rocking it, and I see their lives, and I go, oh, okay, they're doing what they're doing out of inspiration and passion. I need to remember to live out of inspiration and passion, because shoulding a should life is a life half-lived, and I can guarantee you this. I speak with a lot of you. I speak with a lot of the women in this group, and one of the biggest things that I hear is, you know, I, I don't have any time for me. I don't know how to live a life for me. It's all about everybody else. Self-care is a big aspect in this group of women not taking the time to even replenish themselves. Um, I'm going to announce it here. I usually, I don't, I, if you follow my personal Facebook, you see that I usually post a weekly uh, bath night. I do a mat bath night with a mask and uh, crystals and candles and uh, meditation. And I, that I, I do that like kind of sacred space once a week. And that's my really deep dive into my self care once a week. And on top of that, I'm now going to add a monthly spa day just for myself um, to really replenish myself. Uh, physically and emotionally and spiritually um, each month so to kind of step it up a little bit so 
know that you can start creating these really small self-care rituals. And just always remember that they can grow with you. They can evolve. They can get bigger. They can get better. They can they can become more lavish. Um, start out small, though. I mean, like, one of my self-care practices for a long time was just brushing my teeth and my hair, you know? And sometimes I didn't even get to that every day when my kids were really little. So just know that self-care is going to evolve. Self-care is going to grow. And as you grow your self-care, as you grow your experience, hey Lauren, um, as you grow that, the shoulds are gonna kind of fall away and your self-care and your passion is going to, um, to grow with that. So the more kind of time that we focus on allowing ourselves to really see what we desire and what we want, which was the whole this whole past week in the um, Out of Overwhelm and Into Inspired Action was really about seeing how to get back that little spark. So again, we're gonna deep dive on Wednesday night really into like cracking our hearts open even more and really living from a space of seeing what our heart desires and living from a space of feeling what our heart wants to feel. I mean, how often does, I, I know that my heart sometimes feels guilty or it can feel, um, I know a lot of women I talk to feel resentment. Um, so there's so many aspects and feelings in our hearts and those are not what we want to rule our lives. We do not want our heart space to be filled with, um, with resentment and overwhelm and heartache. We want our hearts to rule um, us with love and joy and bliss and passion and inspiration. So thank you guys so much for joining in and I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Um, continue the sharing and the inspiring others and supporting everyone the way that you do and um, please uh, comment and uh, let me know what's going on with each of you. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.